you know, so many people think when they have a product launch, they're like, hey, I'm launching a new product, I'm gonna put it out there. And then nothing happens. It takes so much to really build it up. And this is where if you have a really well-developed LinkedIn network, you're already steps ahead of everybody else when it comes to doing a product launch. Because you really want to cultivate that audience, that network that you already have in place. So whether you have 100 or 200 connections or you have 1,000 connections on LinkedIn, as long as they are a really good target audience, um, people that know you, that you know, know your business and respect you, then you already have, like I said, kind of that advantage over other people. So you want to use that to your advantage. You don't want to, you know, just start promoting for the sake of promoting. You want to start building kind of a, a pre-launch buzz. And this is really important. I think um, this is a mistake that I made with one of my launches for my ebook. I just kind of was like, hey, I wrote an ebook. It's out there. Um, and I didn't do anything to really kind of prep and get the excitement going. So you really want to use LinkedIn to create that buzz and that awareness the moment you get started leading up to the actual product launch. So. One of the things I often do is I ask for people's input on selecting, if, you know, if it's an ebook, pick the name of the, the title of the ebook or help with cover art. You know, you maybe give them two or three options and get some feedback, market research on which one they like best. Um, if you have a new product coming out, you know, maybe you want their input on, you know, how, you know, what size it is or how much of, you know, it's going to cost or, you know, different factors that you can get that market research that helps you generate a better product, but it also gets them excited. You start talking about this new thing you have coming out that your audience is looking forward to, even if it's six months in advance or six weeks in advance, they're like, oh, they're working on this. This is kind of cool. I want to know more about it. So start with a little kind of bit of market research thing. Start getting the information out there. And then as it progresses, share information about the progress hit the milestone of, you know, here's the prototype or, you know, you've finished recording all your videos for your new coaching package or whatever it is. Let people know, again, generate that buzz, that awareness, get that information out there. This way you're not spamming them when it comes out. You're just kind of sharing as you grow and develop it. And then when it comes time to actually launch the product and you know, now you want to make the sales, you want to start getting that awareness out there. So you want to post that, you know, it's available. Um, you want to post more than once, post it multiple times to hit the right audiences. Um, you know, some of your audience may be the people who check LinkedIn before they go to work in the morning and other people may be the people that check it while they're at work. Or you may have people in North America and people in Europe. So you've got different time zones. So post at different times of the day to hit those target audiences. You want to also make sure that you don't just post the same thing eight times in a matter of a week. That's a little much. So if you're going to post it repeatedly, change the message. Or Some of them are maybe a text-only post. Some of them have a photo um, or something like that that you can help create the same message but not make it so redundant that it's the same thing over and over and over again. And remember that it's kind of the rule of seven. Most people need to see something seven times before they're ready to commit to it. And this is where that pre-buzz starts to be those one, two, and three, four maybe times of kind of reminding them that it's happening. But even when you launch it, you might still need to remind them two or three times that it's available. So using those repetitive posts, getting it out there, letting them know that it's available is a really powerful thing to use. Um, and especially if there's a time limit or an expiration date or a limited amount available, make sure you're highlighting that in your post and letting people know like, okay, this is closing tomorrow or only 10 left or whatever it is so that they know that kind of urgency is there for them to go ahead and act on it.